Hello, welcome. In this video, let us continue with the properties of TTFT. The first one is conjugation. The conjugation property, the DTFT of the conjugate of the original signal x of n, it is DTFT of x star of n or x conjugate of x of n is equal to conjugate of x of e power minus j omega. That is, you replace omega with minus omega and also you apply conjugation on the resulting function. So, let us look at the proof for this property. Starting with the LHS, that is f of x conjugate of x of n conjugate, x of n conjugate is equal to by definition the sum x x of n conjugate multiplied by e power minus j omega n which can be rewritten as summation x of n multiplied by e power j omega n whole conjugate which is equal to x of e power minus j omega because clearly here we have minus of minus omega so which is x of e power minus j omega and then we have the whole conjugate therefore the DTFT of conjugate of, of a sequence x of n is equal to x of e power minus j omega conjugate. That is conjugate of the DTFT where omega is replaced by minus omega. The next property is folding. That is the DTFT of x of minus n. That is the time index n is replaced by it's into inverse that is minus n then is dtft of x of minus n is equal to x of e power minus j omega that is in frequency domain omega is replaced by minus omega so the proof is actually straightforward let us look at the lhs by definition this is equal to some x of minus n e power minus j omega n and now by using a new variable m which is equal to minus n it is by defining a new variable m which is equal to minus n then we have the sum with the index m x of m into e power j omega m and this is equal to by definition of the dgft x of e power minus j omega because omega can be written as minus of minus omega so by definition it becomes the dtft where omega is replaced by minus omega. So by definition of the DTFT, the DTFT of x of minus n, that is folded signal, is equal to DTFT where omega is replaced by minus omega. So it is, it is functionally same as the original DTFT, but omega is replaced by minus omega. And the next one is related to symmetry. That is, a signal x of n can be written as sum of two components. The first one is even component and the second one is odd component. Then the DTFT of the even component is equal to the real part of the DTFT of the original signal or the complete signal x of n. Here the even component x e of n is defined as x of n plus x of minus n that is its folded signal or its folded counterpart divided by 2. So by using this definition the DTFT of x c of n is equal to the sum over n x e of n e power minus j omega n which becomes the sum n the summation with n from minus infinity to plus infinity x of n plus x of minus n over 2 multiplied by e power minus j omega n so clearly this is clearly this can be split into two sums that is 1 by 2 multiplied by the sum of x of n into e power minus j omega n plus the sum x of minus n e power minus j omega n 
and this is equal to 1 by 2 and this is by definition the dtft of x of n so it is x of e power j omega and we just learned that this summation is the dtft where omega is replaced by minus omega and this is equal to real part of x of e power j omega this is because the imaginary component of x of e power j omega will cancel with the imaginary component of x of e power minus j omega therefore the dtft of the even component of the signal is equal to the real part of the x of e power j omega that is the original dtft next part of the property is the dtft of the odd component that x o of n is equal to j times the imaginary component of x of e power j omega so starting with the lhs the summation n x o of n into e power minus j omega n is equal to by definition x o of n is equal to x of n minus x of minus n over 2 so by using this definition this should be equal to 1 by 2 the sum x of n minus x of minus n multiplied by e power minus j omega n which is equal to 1 by 2 into first component is x of n into e power minus j omega n which is basically x of e power e power j omega that is the dtft and the second one is minus x of e power minus j omega because it is x of minus n into e power minus j omega n which is x of e power minus j omega therefore this should be equal to 1 by 2 and the real components in both x of e power j omega and x of e power minus j omega cancel each other and we are left with the imaginary components 2 times j into imaginary component of x of e power j omega therefore the dtft of the odd component x o of n is equal to j times the imaginary component of x of e power j omega thus to summarize in this video we looked at three properties the first one is conjugation property that is dtft of the conjugate of the signal x of n is equal to conjugate of the dtft where omega is replaced by minus omega and the second one is folding property that is the dtft of the x of minus n that is folded signal is equal to x of minus j omega that is omega is replaced by minus omega and finally the dtft of even component of a signal x of n is the real part of the original dtft and similarly the dtft of the, the dtft of the odd component is j times the imaginary part of the original DDF. Thanks for watching.